Hi again, it's Charlie here with a, another unboxing. This is a particularly good one because I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. I know it's in the box, so let's have a look. First thing out is a thank you from the manufacturer and the warranty information. Usual good packing, probably too much packing, but let's see if I can get it out easier from down here. I think the trick with these things is to get them out upside down. So a styrofoam uh, box and two halves. And how about that for a nice little printer? Truly is what they call a desktop printer. That's amazing. So it comes with the. Uh, well, let's turn it around. It's a good solid weight, and from what I understand, it's plug and go. It's already been set up, ready for production. Um, a small size plate, but if you uh, design your models correctly, you can manufacture them in multiple parts. A ubiquitous transformer, which everybody needs. So there's a couple of things here. A scraper for the table. Um, a little chip. I guess to get started with uh, some models that they've provided so that you can start printing immediately. Not really sure what this part is for but we'll find out. And a couple of cables uh, into the transformer and this one here we'll find out about that. So. Let's just have a read here and see what it says. So this is a Monoprice a Select Mini 3D Printer V2. Starts out with uh, some safety warnings that you should be aware of. Uh, customer service, package contents, and then a breakdown and description of what makes the uh, the printer work and how to set it up. Simple instructions there should be easy to follow. And uh, it's nice that they've done this in colour, which is a, a bonus. You generally don't get this level of detail. And software installation and setup. Nice information boxes there, dialogue boxes to get you going. I would highly recommend if you purchase anything like this, you read the instructions thoroughly so that you don't have any issues. And, you know, I've done a little bit of 3D printing before. And basically, if your 3D model is uh, correct and there are no errors in it, you should really just be able to transfer it into Slicer, which I, I presume is a software that will be used here for to cut the model into thin slices so that the printer head can lay them. Um, so as I said, it's not a very big printing area, but if you take an item like that, that would be no problem. 
if you had a transformer. It's just a little bit too big. So you may have to do this in two halves and remember uh, you need a flat surface. So whenever you're designing, breaking down your model uh, for transfer uh, to the printer, uh, you have to think about how you're going to support uh, the physical structure and what you're using as a base. You should always try and start out with a flat surface. And uh, you get a pack of uh, filament. Uh, it wouldn't print very much, I don't think. Uh, you should really buy a reel of, uh, of filament of your particular choice of colour. Uh, Best to buy them on Amazon, get them delivered quickly and at a very good price. Now, here is an example of a 3D printed gun. Uh, this is Kay's gun from 2049. And as you see, it came in the two halves of which it was printed. So my understanding uh, of the modeling procedure, the workflow was the, the physical uh, model was built and then cut in two. And the flat side was the center of the model. And it was from there that the printer began to uh, lay the material uh, to build uh, the, the model and then it was flipped over in the software and the other half uh, was printed so when you join these together you just sand down this flat surface uh, use an ice epoxy mix uh, clamp it and and there you've got your K's 2049 blaster. So that's basically how it all works. Um, I, I would start off with something simple. Uh, I'll think about what I can come up with for a model railway in particular. And think about designing one small mo model, maybe like an oil drum. And I could make multiples of the model uh, that would fit on this table and have them all print at the one time. So that's the process you have to go through. What size is the model? How many can I print at one time? And these things are they're pretty slow. It takes a long time to print stuff, even a small thing. Uh, it, you know, might take an hour, might take three hours, depending on the complexity and size. So it's all about experimentation. You can go to Thingiverse and download models from there and uh, print them directly. Download them onto a, a card, plug the card in and then just start printing. That way you can quickly uh, get into 3D printing without having to consider how do I build a 3D model? Anyway, uh, model price, uh, it, it was well under $200, I, I think. And uh, it, great for, it, it has good reviews, like very good reviews for the price and, and, the, uh, and, and the physical size. So great introductory level uh, for 3D printers. And I'll, I'll get to it try and print something out and I'll get back to you with the process and, and the results. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Bye for now.